I'm uh, Lasse, I'm an artist uh, slash te technical artist at uh, Flashbow Games. Trailmakers is a, a building construction game where you build your vehicle, you go out to a big open world, do different challenges, drive around. You can also play it multiplayer with other people. We're using uh, Houdini to make Trailmakers in a way where we can, we actually sculpt uh, terrains using uh, almost molds created in Houdini. So we're still using the Unity terrain system, but we are creating the shapes in, in Houdini and then we drag the, the terrain up into these molds. One of the things we're using Houdini for is creating our, our cliffs with small rock assets, uh, creating procedurally, and we are creating forests and, uh, and bridges and curbs and barriers and all that stuff is all generated with it. Houdini or it's and then loaded into uh, into Unity where we can uh, alter it afterwards. My name is Mike Murdoch and I'm the creative director for Trihelix. We're a virtual reality studio. We're making a game called Marshmallow Melee. It's a toy-sized dungeon crawler where you get marshmallow warriors and you get to give them swords and shields and helmets and take them on this adventure. So our game couldn't exist without Houdini. I'm the only 3D artist on this project and we have over 70 unique floors. So I'm using Houdini to build all these procedural systems to make it easier for me to build all these levels. My name is Elizabeth Stevens and I use Houdini to create 3D environments. Variant is a serious game that's intended to help calculus students in the college level courses and we've had to work with a pretty small art team to create uh, the entire game. Houdini has been really helpful for making games because we can create basically what we think we want, but put in all the parameters that we need to adjust it in case we were wrong. And we can do it all in engine, so it's really easy to make changes on the fly and see what they're actually gonna look like instead of having to bring things back and forth from different programs. I'm Rebecca Meigel, and I'm an environment artist at Triceum. Uh, we use Houdini to make all of our architecture in the game. The non-destructive Houdini workflow allows us to make changes late in the game. Having only two environment artists, that's really useful for us. <laughs> we work closely with the level designers. They use our HDAs to build out the game. Hey, my name is uh, Chase Hardy. I work at Triceum, and I'm a level designer. In the engine, I'm using uh, Houdini tools uh, as HDAs um, made by the artists and then I take those and easily iterate uh, throughout the pipeline. Um, procedural workflow benefits me a lot because with level design I have to quickly make something and then most of the time, almost all the time, it's not perfect. So I take that and iterate constantly and then through using that, especially with uh, Houdini, I'm allowed to do that very quickly. Hello, I am Loon, the developer of Suki and the Shadow Cloud. Suki and the Shadow Cloud is a 3D platformer based on the old Zelda games. Uh, it is right, in, right now in development for PS4, Xbox One, PS Vita, and Steam. Houdini is a major tool on the development of Suki in the Shadow Cloud because it is speeding up our 3D workflow. Basically, we are using that on the levels and the environments. I'm Ayan Vermeerte, uh, and I am um, co-owner of House of Secrets. I direct and art direct uh, our projects, uh, and I also work as a technical 3D artist on our projects. Kin is a VR action platformer game. Uh, it's about a girl who wakes up uh, on a strange planet and she doesn't know who she is or where she is. You will guide her through the, the, the world where she slowly finds out where she's from and what the world is. And you do that by, by combating enemies and uh, solving puzzles. The biggest advantage of Houdini for us is that, that we are very flexible because of the procedural workflow. We can easily change a lot of things before the deadline. For instance, for the game, we could change the, the layout of the levels just before the launch of the game. And it gave us a lot of flexibility to be able to, to tweak the gameplay uh, at a, a later stage. And there's also a big advantage for us is uh, uh, that is, Houdini is very focused on a production pipeline. And when we use a new feature we didn't use before, we can be sure this is a feature that is stable and, and fit for production. 